Okay, so I picked, I actually purchased um, this one. It's the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. And I ordered it online from the VIB $12, $20 sale at Sephora. And I'm going to do a first impressions of it. It looks like this. It's a stick. It's a foundation. So, you put it on like this. And I went blind and I didn't know what color to get. So, it is the... 115. I thought it would be a little dark on me, but or too light, but it looks really good on me. It looks perfect, the color wise. And I'm gonna take my favorite brush, foundation brush, and it's the Morphe. Blend it, blend it, blend it. Oh, I like it. I do, I love it. Oh my god, this is my first time using a stick foundation. I'm always a liquid foundation person, so I love liquid foundations, but this one's my favorite. This one might be my new favorite foundation stick, and it's my first time using it, so yeah. Even though this retails for 45 bucks. I think it is worth it. I think it is worth the money. I know it's a lot of money for a foundation, but it's makeup forever. It's makeup forever. So, makeup forever foundations are not cheap, which they should, I don't know. I They're good quality. Whoopsie, where's my... Um, yeah, looks like this, and then I'm gonna put Makeup Forever Pro Finish. It is setting powder. I'm gonna put that on top of it. Because I've heard that you're supposed to use a finish, a powder finish. And I don't like to use a powder finish. I just like to use a foundation. I know it's weird. And I know it's like everyone keeps on telling me, oh, I have to use a powder finish. For me, I hate using powder finishes. It's just preference. It's just me. You know, my, my foundation usually lasts a long time. I'm not sure if this is long lasting. But... I think it is. Um, it just, it doesn't say, it doesn't even say if it's full coverage or medium coverage, which, I don't know, I have pimples or acne and you can't tell, so I think this covers up really well for that. Um, I'm just not sure if this is long lasting, but I think it is. So yeah. I think it's long lasting. I'm gonna put my bronzer on. I haven't really put in any thing on my face because um 
I just put the foundation on. So I'm gonna apply my um, Too Faced Endless Summer. I, I got it like a year ago and it looks like this now, which I'm beginning to think I should get a new bronzer, but I don't wanna spend this much money on a bronzer. If there's like a, a dupe for this foundation, let me know. Um, but yeah. I just, I love how this foundation, it looks natural on, and no one can tell that I'm wearing any foundation, which is a big plus for me. I don't like it when it looks too cakey or looks like you have too much foundation on. Okay, so I'm going to say that I did not really try this. I mean, I tried it, but I tried it with this brush, and it just didn't, I don't know, it didn't look good. It didn't blend well, so this is not really a good contour brush. I'm on the hunt for a good contour brush for to use to, for this. So, once I get a new contour brush, I've tried this one, and I've tried using this one for a contour brush. It's not, it's not good for that. It's horrible for that. So, yeah. Otherwise, I would make a video on the NYX one, but I need to get a contour brush for that. Um, I'm really sorry that that I've been MIA lately. Last week I was not feeling well, and I didn't want to make a video if I don't feel well. I don't know. And I had a part-time job, too, as well. And I get paid for that. That's why... I'm a lot busy during the week because I have a part-time job and it takes a lot of my time during the week. So thank you so much for being patient. Um, happy Saturday. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll talk to you really soon.